Well, hi everybody, good morning. Thought I'd show you some of the updates on my Valentine Island. Uh, we'll walk around this way. That little second day growth of the trees, that's definitely my favorite. So I did get some of the pathing down. Not everywhere, but just adding the little bits that I have, you can really get a better idea of how to decorate. So in, in my opinion, if you're having trouble finding, figuring out what to decorate, how to decorate, get inspired, put down some pathing and it kind of will lead you in the right direction, show you where to put some things. Got this little area, put this down underneath. Get a better view here of my map. So it looks a little chaotic on the map here, but when you do put the pathing down, like, um, or some codes down on the ground, oh, you can see all my little cuties I've got here. I've been spending time amoebo amoeboing them in, but if you put some codes down and then put items on top, it does look a little bit more um, placed with a purpose. I did switch out a lot of the villagers. When I have my medieval island, it will be a different group of people, but... I ended up now, I found Poppy on a villager hunt. I got Lily, I got Rudy, and uh, yeah, it's a whole group of really cute little sweet Valentine people. So just gonna kind of run around here and show you some of these were already completed on the last uh, video that I did, but I added those trees to make a little break in those areas. I put the codes down here under this little beginning of the market that we did on the last video. And you can see what a difference it makes when you put the codes down and then place the items on top. This makes it feel less uh, chaotic and just more, you know, placed with a purpose. But I got these are my favorite uh, heart path here. Adorable. This is the one time of year you can do this and it looks appropriate. <laughs> this is my favorite area so far, this little entrance here. I love this little cube light. And I got the path around here. See what a difference it makes to add the pathing in. So if you're really stuck where to start decorating, um, start putting the codes down and that really helps, it really does. Okay, let's run back here. Um, I'm starting this area here, not quite sure what I'm gonna do, but I just love these little hearts so much. I'm going to try to uh, incorporate them in whenever possible. <laughs> so let's run in here and get our DIY for the day. I can't remember if this is Olive or, yeah, I think this is Olive's house. I was going to say Goldie, but uh, let's see. Nope, it's Olive. Okay, let's see what DIY she has. Let's see. She is so cute. Almost as cute as Maple, but. I love the bamboo bench. That is one of my favorites. You can use it so many places. And I customize it to do the salted, so the uh, dark brown. And oh, I love that one. So that was definitely worth the time this morning. Okay, I'm going to run around and just pick up some weeds and straighten out some things. So we'll be quiet for a few moments and let you enjoy the 5 a.m. So this is the start of the campsite. So that's looking kind of cute so far. We got the little chopped wood for the fire, a little chainsaw, got some nice pathing down. And then, oh, I think this is Poppy's new place up here, but pull up all these weeds. I want to get rid of these wind flowers up here. And um, yeah, those are not gonna stay. Eventually so I'll switch out those peach trees and that cedar tree as well, but Today we'll just pick up these weeds and the fossils. Oh, 
Okay, let's pick up these windflowers. Even though they're red, they just, oops, they just really do not match the island. <laughs> I mean, if someone out there likes the windflowers, then that's nice, but they don't really match what I'm going for here with this island, so. All right, we'll pick up these fossils and get this area cleared out and ready for some decorating. This island, I don't really have any specific big builds I'm working on. I just, uh, I've been finding like little items. Because it's Valentine stuff, there's not a whole lot of specific Valentine's things. So as I run across things that could be used for the Valentine Island, I'm kind of just finding a place for them. So it's a little bit, I thought it would be easier. I, actually, I, I didn't realize there's not really any specific Valentine items. I mean, there's a few items for... Uh, you know, Mother's Day or the weddings and different things that you can make red and pink and put together. So as I run across items, I'm just kind of running around to the little areas. But those areas are filling up and it's starting to look, um, I think, like a really sweet little island so far. I'm happy with it. Okay, let's run down here and get rid of those. Not sure. I'm going to just pick up things along the way. Maybe some weeds and whatever else needs to be cleaned up. It's kind of just a chill morning running around doing our thing. There's still a lot of... Well, most of the island is still big and empty, but we got little tiny areas that are starting to come together and as you do you know the little transition areas I love that little area with the uh, pine trees back there is a the little break um it's coming along let's see if he has anything that we just can't live without usually I like the traveler's backpack and uh yeah I think that's the favorite one I have like is the traveler's backpack but not today so let's try to just sell Oh, I was going to sell these, but I have these carts in the way. Uh, let's just get the garbage can out and toss them out. I know I could just slide those carts over, but <laughs> it's equally as fast just to get the, uh, the garbage can out. Okay, I have a couple of pine trees in my pocket, so I have a couple places in mind I want to put one. So one is going to go right here. I think I have four. There we go, so we're going to put one here. We'll scooch that over a little bit, but I do have a few places that I want to put them. I love the pine trees because you can scoot them closer to some of the things that the regular trees can't go, so they really... They're a nice barrier or, um, you know, if you don't want to put a fence up or whatever. But, yeah, I love the pine trees. They're one of my favorite items. And I think I want to put one over here. Actually, I want to put them all over the place. <laughs> okay, we're going to put one here behind Grizzly's house. Got to open it up. Okay, and I think just right on the left side of this path, I did have a fence across here, and then, and then I didn't like that, and then I had the shrubs uh, or the hedge across there. I didn't like that. So I think the pine trees, I want a little bit of a break between, you know, my house and their house, but I think these look a little more natural, you know, to put the little trees in there. So we'll start with that. I was thinking about maybe putting one up here. But uh, we'll take a look around as I just kind of clean things up here real quick. I did put this really neat color of the silo up here. I love the pink with the turquoise. I think that matches the Valentine's Island. Of a few places that I have kind of neglected over the past, I don't know how long. I, I did Amiibo win like three different people and each t one took, you know, another day. And then a villager hunted. So in the game, it thinks it's been like a month, <laughs> I think. 
So that's why there's a lot of weeds in a lot of these areas, but that's okay. Okay, I think I will dig up some of these flowers. That whole little patch of red flowers back there needs to be moved. So let's just take a quick look around, make sure. Yeah, I think we'll just start by moving some flowers down to the bottom level, bottom layer, whatever you want to call it. This is going to be a cute little farm area. I did finally get the rest of the missing crops that I hadn't got from uh, Leaf yet. So this kind of big area here is going to be a little farm area. So I just need to move these um, really pretty flowers out of here. Okay, we'll cut over. I put this uh, incline in over here by my house because I thought it would be a nice little cut through and it seems to be very convenient. So I'm gonna run down here and get these flowers uh, probably on the beach so they're not going to be spreading everywhere, but easily accessed. I do need to take a look around on the beach. I think I have flowers all over the place that I have forgotten about because I put them on the beach and then I don't always go down there to check what I have in my little inventory so probably one of these days I'll need to go around all the beaches and collect all the flowers and start placing them but those are I usually do those almost last you know I get the pathing down and then the big items and then fill in with the flowers so I might just need to gather them up all in one area on the beach as much as possible and pick this up and my weeds oh there's the bottle let's grab that see what we get Hopefully something good. It won't be as good as the bamboo bench, but <laughs> let's see. Oh, the tiny laborer. I think I have that. Oh, I love that one. You know, I don't usually get that one, and I've gotten that twice now on this island, so. Okay, I do have one more pine tree to put somewhere, but let's finish with the flowers real quick. And I will just again be quiet so you can enjoy the very pleasant music. Yeah, see here are a bunch of the flowers that are kind of just all sporadically messy. <laughs> I'll need to gather those all together someplace where I can get a better inventory for what I have because spread out like this, I can't really even picture where I want which kind of flower because they're kind of all over the place. So I think first we'll plant... Um, I went to Harv's Island today, so I got a bunch of the... Uh, hydrangea bushes, which are super pretty. So I'll plant a bunch of those along here. Okay, let's try this. Just kind of looking around, deciding where I want to put things. A lot of times when I first put things down, it's not... Well, that's because I have the weed prevention right there. It's not where it ends up staying. So I do a lot of placement and then go back and changes. And that's the fun of this game. You can put anything down anywhere. And if you don't like it, you just go back and change it. So, it, you know, you don't have to stress over if it's going to look good or not look good because... 
It just doesn't even matter. The thing I'm going to do is plant a lot of the palm trees, I think, up on the island itself because that's kind of cool looking, I think. But anyway, thanks for being here, everybody. I hope it was a nice, pleasant little morning for you, just kind of chilling out and relaxing and um, hope to see you around next time. And I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I'm going to find another cute little place to sit over here and say goodbye and we'll catch you next time. All right. Bye-bye, everybody.